What's up YouTube and right now I'm going to show you how to copy triggers in a better way. Um, so you can see this scenario I made, it has many triggers. Um, there's 300 triggers right now. Um, the trigger is pretty much build a tower one of these slots. If it's torches, it makes archers, skirmishers. Impaled men, it's uh, pikemen, it's rocks and stone, you get stone, wood clump, get wood, um, each team gets a castle, to protect their kingdom, food for champions, um, dead knights for knights, um, Buddha is trebuchet, adding more slots everywhere, I forgot what I was going to make here, um, yeah, so cool roadmap I'm working on. But again, we have to copy these triggers. Or else it's going to take forever to make every single piece. So first, what we have to do is um, download a program. You save in your A2HD um, file. Which, which is within common Steam app Steam program files 86 on my C drive within my computer. Um, so it's going to be the CS file for um, Trigger Studio. It's the program that it's called. And we're going to open Trigger Studio and run it. Before you run it, you have to extract everything. So let's just open up. Scenario I just had open on Age of Empires. As you can see, it's the same map. Um, this stuff can be touchy. A lot of this stuff is it's it's pretty buggy. Let's just say that for simple. Like changing this stuff um, will make the game crash. So you have to be careful what you change. Save often, reopen, reopen. So now that we got here. 261 triggers, okay. Every five minutes create T8 villager. I think this is having everyone get a villager. Yep, everyone gets a villager in their base every five minutes. Um, is it looping? It should be looping. Yep, it is looping. And it starts on. Okay. So, let's, uh, I know I'm going to have <clears throat> pikemen here. I'm going to have pikemen here. And, um, I'm going to have this guy spawn knights from here, and the knights will run this way, run this way, and run this way, and back to your base. And for this way, the knights will run this way. But there's pikemen here. Pretty much kill this slot, so it's kind of what the idea I'm going to. So we need pikemen here. For now, so let's uh, find my pikemen triggers. Yep, right there. And we're going to do pike 13. Oop, I didn't use pike 12. Rename. Alright, rename. Pike 13. So yeah, control C, control copy. And now it's copying this trigger over and over again. So I want. Pikemen to spawn. So if at least one unit of player 8 has a class of tower, places it there, we're going to. Okay, first we clear up the slot. So it's 7239. So the tower is on 7239. So 72 to have 39 to have 7239. So it takes an area, but we have one square, so we just call that one square left side of the square and the right side of the square. The same square, so it's the same. Um, Union class tower, we want a quantity of 1, player 8. And it has 15, yeah, 15 seconds is the spear spawn time. Um, we're going to create a spearman object at that spot, which was 1, 7239. Wait, no, wait, 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 that's where the the power goes. 
So 7152 will place the unit. So 7152. Did this even? Yeah, 7239, 7152. So now we'll create a unit for player 8. There. And now we want to task the object in 7152. The area is 7152 to whatever area, but the square, so we're just going to call 1, 7152, 7152. 71 tab, 52 tab, 71 tab, 52 tab. Let that populate, and we're going to want to go to the location of blocking this exit, 7335. 7335. Okay. 7152 to 7335 looks correct. Um, I'm going to save this now and go to my game. Update the triggers just by reloading the map because it saved it from the other perspective. Let's keep track of. Who has the file open? Save it, and then go to the other file to edit after you save the previous file, because um you can pretty much undo what you just did on one of the files, whether it's Age of Kings Trigger Studio or um, Age of Empires. So yeah, we're working on Pikeman. Um, Pike twelve. Or is it Pike 13? Yeah, it's Pike 13, so we're working on it. So I want to rename this Pike 14. Pike 15. Just to keep myself organized. Um, I don't know why. Maybe I'm, maybe I should. Oh, I don't have to reopen the uh, Age of Empires. I have to reopen this one. The the force the update to populate quicker. It'll eventually populate, but I just want to see it that it's going to transfer those units and it does transfer so it's working properly. Sometimes it'll be like way lower or way higher than I expect by reading the coordinates incorrectly. So it's cool to have that visual beforehand. To go back to Pike, did I really name them all Pike 13? I'm a dumbass. So we're just gonna, so now we have for player 8, we're gonna duplicate for all players, so anyone can trigger that trigger on that spot. There you go, now we get everyone perspectives created. So we could do this again, because I have, this is a symmetric map with four branches, with two players in each branch. So, it's, so um, fuck. Stupid mics, or headset is talking to me about low battery. So yeah, that's how you copy a trigger better than um what I showed you previously. Using Age of King Trigger Studio, I'm gonna put a link um to my next video on how to get Age of King Trigger Studio because it is quite complicated to figure out how to even get it installed and then getting started like I did was quite complicated. Um, there's, this is the version that definitely works. Um, let's see, it looks like this. There's a smaller screen one, that one does not work, it's out of date. But, uh, let's save, close up, and now you guys know how to copy triggers.